That's the officer on the right, the pregnant mother and her baby on the left. Police say the woman wanted to give police her child, but the officer wanted first to talk. Attempted to obtain information on both the mother and the child, at which time the mother refused to give any information and became very agitated. The pregnant woman then tries to leave with the boy and the officer tries to stop her. Police get a hold of the child, then try to detain the mother, but she resists. That's when the officer forces her to the ground flat on her stomach. He gets out a taser and uses it on her neck. But the police chief says that during the struggle here, his officer had no idea the woman was pregnant. She did not disclose to us at any time, even after she was arrested, that she was pregnant. And she was wearing a heavy winter coat and holding the child on her lap when the officer arrived. Now, because of this incident, the FBI is investigating. There's also an internal Trotwood investigation, though the officer is still on duty. I think the main issue at this point wasn't, and, and at least in my point of view, is whether or not the officer had the right to detain her, but whether appropriate force was used for the amount of resistance, and that's what we're looking into. This Trotwood resident sees the need for tasers, but also thinks they should be used very carefully. I mean, you have to what, make sure that the person is not going to try to hurt you or anything, but you also have to take in consideration that you don't know everybody's condition. You know, sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing especially with a pregnant woman.